Scarborough, for example, where Ben is this morning. And it's absolutely looking beautiful there. Ben, we have been monitoring what's been going on there this morning. Can you honestly say that is all your own work? Absolutely, Charlie. I've been busy all morning making this, and this is the final piece of it all. That's uh, rather magnificent, I think you'll agree. Uh, an architectural triumph here on the beach in Scarborough, um, much like the building I've taken inspiration from here in Britain's first and oldest seaside town up there on the hill, the Grand Hotel. It was the biggest hotel in Europe when it opened in the 1800s. It's got a rather lovely design, 365 rooms to represent the days of the year, 12 floors to represent the months, and the four towers representing the four seasons. Of course, this year, one of those seasons has been, well, a little slow to arrive, hasn't it? We've been waiting for summer, and by the looks of it, it is about to finally begin. And that really matters to towns and cities, our seaside resorts like this one, because something like three quarters of us, more than three quarters of us, say that we are planning to have at least one holiday in the UK this year. That's according to the biggest holiday cottage rentals company. And it all adds up. That total is worth something like £13.8 billion to the economy because each trip, each holiday on average, means spending of about £1,000 on all sorts of things from accommodation to travel to eating out to amusements and little souvenirs for your friends and family. So let's find out how important a sunny weekend will be from two business owners here. We've got uh, Shirley, who has uh, 10 rental companies. We've got Julian, who runs an ice cream shop as well. Um, how's the summer been so far for you, Shirley? It's been very slow. Uh, we were busy at Easter, busy at the next holiday, but now with all the turns on, Alpha Mare, water park opening up, everybody's booking fast now. They've waited while last minute, and now they're booking. When we've been all fully booked this weekend with all the shows on. Even the forest has something going on. Uh, you've, you've been in this business for 25 years, quarter of a century. What patterns have you noticed? How have bookings changed? Well, now they book, they used to book a week at a time on a fortnight. Now they book Monday to Friday, Friday to Monday, Wednesday to Wednesday. It's all different now. They're only booking two or three nights, the majority of them. OK, and has that meant prices had to go up? A little bit. Yes, yeah, since COVID, prices mm. have gone up, but uh, not too much. That's good to know. Mm. That is good to know. Shirley, thank you very much. Let's speak to Julian. Um, what's your experience been as an ice cream shop owner of the summer so far? Well, it's been pretty good. Um, we get a lot of local customers, um, and that's, a, that's like a plateau through the year keeps us going. And then we get the obvious bank holidays, and that's when things rise and fall. And if it's a sunny weekend, if, it, if tomorrow's a day like this, uh, what kind of impact does that have on sales? Do you, do you see a big uplift and how much so? Yeah, I would think on a day like this, it'll probably, and yesterday, it take-ins will probably triple. And is that more people coming in or is that people treating themselves to a bigger ice cream? Yeah, uh, it's a mixture of both, you know. Um, we get a lot of gluttons in. I like to sit at the <laughs> counter and have an enormous ice cream. Uh, and we get those people that uh, prefer to go to the out sales and walk along the front in the sun. Uh, and what does the 99 with the flake cost these days? I think it's about 265 Well, it's not bad, actually. Not bad. Um, Julian and uh, Shirley, thank you both very much indeed. Um, Naga, Charlie, I, um, I've pretty much got the beach largely to myself this morning. I've put the towel down, ready for tomorrow, just in case it gets busy. I suspect it might get busy. Actually, there are about half a dozen seaside towns and cities that have been named as the most searched for for the peak summer period. Between the two of you, any idea? Any, name any of those six? Name all of those six, if you can. Uh, well, so the question was, well, repeat the question, so we give us a, um, a chance. So, uh, we've had information from a popular booking site about the most searched for seaside towns and cities in the UK for the Brighton. peak summer period. There are six which are the most searched for. Brighton. Brighton's one, very good. Newquay. Charlie? Newquay, yeah, that's good. Shall I give you the rest? Blackpool. St Ives, Whitby, Blackpool, Blackpool, there we go. And Brighton and Bournemouth. There we go.
Uh, but there we go. We did quite well, actually. We did all right there. Doesn't it? It looks each. absolutely stunning there. I'm really rather jealous. It's just a beautiful place this morning. How lovely. Uh, thank you very much, Ben. Uh, only one ice cream as far as I'm concerned. It's vanilla. I just, I think it's the king of ice creams and you just, you can't go wrong. Got any more to say? About it? No, I'm just, I'm just saying, the, the gentleman was talking about the, the you know, ice creams. I just mm. I suddenly went, come on, vanilla. It's just always go vanilla. Got your goat, didn't it? Well, no, I'm not annoyed about it. I'm just putting it out there. It's, it's great. Just, a, well, just a thought. You're not angry about other flavours. It's just very no, pro-vanilla. I, um, I welcome all contenders, but I think there's only one.